Ever found yourself in a pickle wondering if the keto diet is a miracle worker or a menacing trap? If so, you're not alone. The ketogenic diet, or as the cool kids call it, keto, has been riding the wave of popularity for a while now. It's a dietary plan that tosses carbs out the window and invites fats to the party. Imagine a world where bacon and butter are your best friends and bread is, well the bad guy, sounds like a dream right? But as with any dream there's always a catch, some are singing praises about the diet's weight loss wonders while others are raising eyebrows questioning its long-term safety, it's like a never-ending tennis match of pros and cons. So, is keto a nutritional knight in shining armor or a diet disaster in disguise? Buckle up as we dive into the world of fats and proteins leaving carbs behind. What if I told you your body could turn into a fat-burning machine? Now that's a thought to chew on, isn't it? Welcome to the world of ketosis, a metabolic state that turns your body into a veritable fat incinerator. Here's how it works. When you're on a ketogenic diet, you're essentially consuming high fat and very low carbohydrates. This unusual culinary equation leads your body to a state where it starts burning fat for energy instead of its usual fuel, carbohydrates. Imagine this, your body is a car and carbohydrates are the premium gas you've always filled it up with. Now you suddenly decide to switch to diesel, that's fats in this case. Your engine, or metabolism, adapts to this change and starts using this new fuel efficiently. That's ketosis for you, in car terms. Now let's talk about some potential perks of being on a ketogenic diet, aside from the possibility of shedding some pounds. Some people have reported improved blood sugar control and reduced inflammation. But remember, while these benefits sound appealing, they are still under rigorous scientific scrutiny. So before you start piling up your plate with avocado and butter, remember that the ketogenic diet not just about eating fats, it's a delicate balance that requires careful planning and precise execution. Sounds like a dream, right? But hold on to your bacon, we've got more to discuss. If you're finding this video helpful, forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more diet insights. Now let's weigh this fatty diet on the scale of pros and cons. We've all heard the success stories, right? People shedding pounds like they're going out of fashion, thanks to the keto diet. But what's the real deal? Well, as with most things in life, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. First off, the benefits. The big one? Weight loss. By shifting your body's primary fuel source from carbs to fat, you might just find those stubborn pounds melting away. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But remember folks, this isn't a magic bullet. Long-term success is more about changing your lifestyle than a quick-fix diet. Next up, improved blood sugar control. Now, this could be a game-changer for those with pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, but hold your horses. Before you go all in on the bacon and butter, make sure to get the green light from your doctor. So far so good, right? But let's flip the coin and check out the drawbacks. The keto diet can be pretty restrictive. It limits fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, which could lead to deficiencies in key vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Imagine trying to run a car without oil, it's not going to end well. Similarly, your body needs a balance of nutrients to run smoothly. Next, we have the increased risk of kidney stones. The keto diet can alter the pH level of your urine, which might sound like a cool party trick, but it's not quite as fun when it leads to painful kidney stones. Finally, let's talk about digestive issues. The keto diet is low in fiber, which can lead to constipation. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd rather not trade a slimmer waistline for a sluggish digestive system, so, it's not all cheese and avocados, folks. Yes, the keto diet can offer some impressive benefits, but it's important to remember that it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's like trying on a pair of jeans. What fits perfectly for one person might be uncomfortably tight for another. The key takeaway here is balance. A diet that drastically cuts out entire food groups might not be the best choice for everyone. So before you dive headfirst into the world of keto, make sure to do your homework. Consult a doctor, listen to your body, and remember, Health is about more than just the number on the scale. So, it's not all cheese and avocados, folks. Before you jump on the keto bandwagon, let's see if it's the right ride for you. Now, we've been talking about the ketogenic diet and how it can potentially benefit some people, but let's not forget it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. If you're someone with pre-existing health conditions like kidney disease, heart disease, or diabetes, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional before giving keto a go. This high-fat, super-low-carb diet can have varying effects on different bodies, and in some cases it might do more harm than good. And for all the expecting and breastfeeding moms out there, hold your horses. Pregnancy and breastfeeding are times of heightened nutritional needs, and keto might not provide all the necessary nutrients for you and your little one. 
It's always safer to follow a balanced diet during these crucial stages. Now let's talk about something that's often swept under the rug, eating disorders. If you've had a history of eating disorders, the restrictive nature of the keto diet might trigger unhealthy habits. It's essential to address these concerns with a mental health professional before taking the keto plunge. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of hydration. Keto can throw your electrolytes off balance and cause dehydration. So, keep that water bottle close, folks. Remember, folks, it's better to be safe than sorry. So before you start counting those carbs, make sure you've got the green light from your doctor. If you're still keen on keto, let's talk about doing it right. Keto isn't just about eating all the bacon and cheese you can get your hands on. No, it's about being smart and balanced in your approach. So, let's start with the basics. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods. Sure, a triple cheeseburger without the bun might technically be keto, but that doesn't mean it's the best choice for your health. Instead, opt for high-quality proteins like grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, and wild-caught fish. Pair these with healthy fats like avocados, olive oil, and yes, some dairy if you fancy it. Now remember when we talked about the potential for nutrient deficiencies on keto? That's where low-carb veggies come into play. They're like the superheroes of the keto world, swooping in to provide vitamins, minerals, and fiber without sending your carb count soaring. So, don't be shy, load up that plate with leafy greens, broccoli, bell peppers, and cauliflower. Of course, we can't neglect the importance of maintaining electrolyte balance. Ketosis tends to flush out water and electrolytes, which can leave you feeling like you've been hit by a truck, if you're not careful. To combat this, consider supplements or dietary sources of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. And remember, hydration is key, so keep that water bottle handy. Now as we wrap things up, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The ketogenic diet isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, it's a tool. And any tool, it can be used wisely or unwisely. It's your responsibility to make sure you're using it in a way that benefits your health. So, consult with your healthcare provider, listen to your body, and make informed choices. And remember, it's not a race. It's okay to take it slow and make adjustments along the way. Remember, keto can be a friend or foe, depending on how you approach it. So, share your thoughts and experiences, and let's continue this fatty conversation. If you found this video helpful, do give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications bell to stay updated with more such informative content. Together, let's make the journey to health fun and engaging.